Hey, just want to make some prayer requests. Well, my mom has been complaining about her chest hurting for the last few days, and I'd really like it if she would just wake up tomorrow or soon and say that her chest is feeling better and she's doing good. And so I don't know what it is. You know, she's had problems with her heart before. I made a video where she had to go to the hospital. And, you know, of course, that's always going to be a concern, but apparently it hasn't been so bad that it's an emergency. So um, it could be a lot of things. You know, it might not be anything, but it's just something that's ongoing. And I just, you know, I don't want her to keep saying that this is bothering her. So anyways, I asked you to pray for that. And um, the last time my mom went to a doctor, I think, um, the one who deals with her epilepsy, she has epilepsy, and she's actually had a few seizures this week. So she's had seizures for a long time, since she was little, and um, they're random, and, you know, they're not always that bad, you know, but sometimes, you know, she does fall a lot. If she's standing, she'll fall, and she's unconscious for a little while. But anyways, you know, they put on a lot of different medicines, they've tried different things, and she still has them. But her doctor, last time she talked to him, suggested that maybe she should have brain surgery. And, you know, there's a possibility if she has brain surgery that her seizures could go away. So, pray about that, you know, if, you know, that she'll make the right decision and that it'll go well. And, um, you know, I've prayed for God just to take away her epilepsy a lot, and, um, you know, it's like we're just living on borrowed time, you know, no matter how old we are, how young we are, we're we're all going to face, you know, inevitably, our body's going to die. And for those of us who are saved, you know, we can't wait to be with the Lord. But, you know, we want to continue our work for Him on this earth while we're here. You know, we have plans, you know, with our family and stuff, there's things that we want to do. But, um, you know, it could always, it could be something instant, or it could be something that, you know, we, we die slowly, or, you know, there's just lots of different things that could happen, but I guess what I'm saying is, you know, I don't know, I just, I do think that it would be so great if my mom could get her epilepsy taken care of, you know, and have uh, a good amount of time to enjoy that, you know, she's still pretty young, so, uh, she could do a lot, a lot with her life, and so uh, that would be an awesome, wonderful thing. And uh, anyways, I want to pray about that. Um, and one of my aunts has MRSA. That's a pretty serious thing too, uh, like a staph infection. So you could pray for her. And just recently, not that long ago, one of my friends who I wrote in prison, like over a year ago, I sent him a Bible and stuff. His name is Jared, and he contacted me on Facebook, or I tried to add him or something. Anyways, he told me not that long ago that, you know, he asked me to pray for him and saying that, you know, he's going through hard times again. And I just read that he was arrested for a warrant the other day, so he might be heading back to prison. I don't know. And if he does, I'll probably try to write him again. But I just ask for your prayers for him, whatever's on your mind, you know. Um, you know, pray that he'll get saved and you know he'll give his life to the Lord and get out of this mess so and the same for my friend Michael who's still in prison I haven't heard from him for a little while but I still send him notes and stuff and uh, try to I'll probably try to write him soon and maybe see if he'll call me or something but uh, yeah so if you could, if you want some extra people to pray for, pray for my mom, my aunt, Jared, Michael, and um, you could always pray for me. And I'm going to be having my DUI hearing on May 10th, and I'm really excited about that, to get that over with and get my license back soon, hopefully at the end of May or the beginning of June. But it's also stressful leading up to it. You know, I don't like going to the, the courthouse or whatever and dealing with all this stuff, um, you know, I have to remember a lot of things about my case, like everything about the night that I got my DUI, how much uh, alcohol was in my blood, you know, my blood alcohol level, like when I started drinking, how much I drank, like all the details, like I remember, and uh, so, 
it's just it's kind of stressful, but it's also a good thing, and I'll be glad when it's over. And you know, could be praying for me to to find more work. Um, but besides that, I guess I guess that's about it. But uh, know, I'm praying for all you guys who I've talked to. You know, I've got prayer lists. And so I'm thinking about all you guys. And thank you. God bless.